Ambient intelligence and emotion AI are two lesser known concepts that address things like capacity issues in healthcare, staff burnout, or patient outcomes. There's almost no field of healthcare that couldn't be greatly improved by these two technologies. So let's dive into what they are and how they could profoundly change the healthcare experience. I'm Dr. Bertolo Meshpu, and you're watching a future bit of The Medical Futurist. Simply put, ambient intelligence is the idea of creating environments that are sensitive and responsive to the presence of people and can adapt to their needs and preferences seamlessly. This can be achieved through the use of various technologies such as sensors, cameras and AI. In healthcare, a typical hospital room is the perfect opposite of what ambient intelligence could bring to patients. Everything is loud, beeping, bright, and patients are not allowed to properly rest while being cared for. In contrast to that, ambient intelligence has the power to monitor patients' vital signs, track their movements, and provide personalized care 24-7 without disturbing their healing process. Fall prevention is the prime example of using ambient intelligence in elderly care facilities. The Kepler Night Nurse is a sensor and AI-based fall detection and prevention solution that can be used in places like that. The sensors and the physical devices such as cameras are embedded in the environment, while the algorithm runs in the background and can automatically track the movement and activity patterns of patients, easing the mental burden of patients, healthcare professionals and relatives. These systems alert caregivers in case they detect the risk of a fall, prolonged inactivity or the lack of movement in a position that is not natural, like a patient sitting on the floor instead of on the chair or the bed. But a system that's all eyes and ears seamlessly tracking patients can have a ton of other use cases too. For example, medication management can also be the burden of ambient intelligence from now on. In a similar way to fall detection, it can be used to remind patients to take their medication and alert caregivers if a dose is missed. Another, although ethically shaky and as of now technically challenging potential of ambient intelligence is to use it to assess the general condition of patients while they are waiting for their appointment. In theory, various sensors and algorithms can be used to keep track of a number of vital signs. They could create a preliminary report of the basics before a patient even enters the doctor's room. But most importantly, Ambient intelligence can help make the biggest promise of digital health come true, namely to shift the point of care from the hospitals to our homes. It can be used to seamlessly track our health status, providing real-time data analysis to aid in clinical decision-making. It can enable patients to live independently and safely in their own homes for as long as possible. But perhaps we don't even need to be sick to take full advantage of this technology. Imagine a smart home with ambient sensors used to assess our daily activities, monitoring all the small but critical factors of our daily lives that ultimately add up to our well-being. And Emotion AI is the tech that could possibly give ambient intelligence its full power to be the Jarvis to our Tony Stark. It's a technology that can recognize, interpret and respond to human emotions through the use of various technologies such as facial recognition, speech recognition and natural language processing. This is the technology that makes patients feel that they are being cared for with empathy and compassion. Ambient intelligence might be able to monitor our physical health, but working with Emotion AI could potentially keep our mental health in check too. It could detect the early signs of issues such as depression and anxiety by analyzing behavior, facial expressions and speech patterns. This technology could intervene in a part of healthcare that even people in distress tend to be blind about. It's important to note that while both ambient intelligence and emotion AI have the potential to improve patient care and outcomes, we are still talking about it more as a concept rather than a fully fleshed technology. It's still in the early stages of development, but it's definitely going to disrupt healthcare without again disrupting patients' lives. 
and why we need to start speaking about it now is not just to be optimistic about the future of providing care, but because of the regulatory nightmare they will possess. We need to get ready and figure out how to implement them with caution to ensure that patient privacy and ethical considerations are addressed. But as the capabilities of various sensors and devices develop, I have no doubt that both concepts will prove to be fantastic for patients, doctors and nurses alike. It's a fascinating field and we need to pull out all stops to implement them by addressing safety and privacy issues before they even arrive. If you like this video, please subscribe below to get notified about every single new video we come up with. And also please go to medicalfuturist.thinkific.com where you will find our two courses, the Digital Health course and our newest one, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence in Medicine and Healthcare. See you there.